Hey, good morning. Welcome to the stream. It's Labor Day here, it's Monday. And so it's a good opportunity to see things here without a lot of trucks on the way. So I have at least one shot for you all this morning. This one right here. It's usually obstructed by a lot of vehicles and stuff. This is the, these are the parts that came in um, a few days ago. But anyway, welcome to the stream. And that's about it. That's all I got. Hey, 100, 1000 Iskriti to video. How you doing? If some of the chat is disturbing to y'all, you could just put it on mute. And uh, I do say hello to the people here in the chat. Hey, Greg, Osando, SFS, Exospace, Samuel, Todd, good morning. Gator, hey. So this is a worldwide audience, everybody. And so I say hello. Hey, Mark, Rosemary, hey all. Avon, Randy, Enrique, Fabio, Desde Brazil, Zertonix, awesome, Steven, Brian, morning. Yasuru, from Sri Lanka, oh cool, Barry. Yasuru, there was a there was a guy here a few days ago, Yasuru, who has also spent three three years in Sri, Sri Lanka. Dave and Teresa, hey, Barry, uh, I liked your comment yesterday, Barry. Good good stuff on that. Thanks. I will look into a extension cord. John Rodriguez, uh, Samuel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there is a camping here available within uh, 40 miles of here. For $25 a night, you can camp out at the Isla Blanca Park. If you do it for a month, it's a little cheaper and you can get electricity, but yeah. You don't have to stay in a hotel if you don't want to. Uh, Big Rat Killer One, morning. Belly and Jelly, Folded Eagle, nice. Oh yeah, Rocket Ranch is $35 a night plus $10 for electrical. So about $45 a night. It is close to. Or that's what it used to be. I don't know what the current price is, everybody. You'll have to check with Rocket Ranch. They have a website also. I spent a week there. It's a decent place. Hey, Samuel. Yeah, it is one massive piece of equipment. That is for sure. Yasu, it's probably gonna be about a 10 minute stream, another 10 minutes, about maybe 15 minutes altogether. Yep. SpaceX fan changed their name. Was a uh, good deal. SpaceX fans, I got you. That's a new, it's a good new name, so whatever works for you. Thanks for letting me know. And everybody else here too. All right. Uh, besides that, we can see uh, I will pan to the left here, and um, so they really do take Labor Day seriously here because this is the this is the fourth day that this um, GSC cover here is still still here. Has it been moved? It's still on the SPMT, everybody. Hey, Wayne, thanks for the support. Nice. Got a bit of wind here this morning, too. Yeah, so it is still on the SPMT. It's, it's not being lifted, but it is raised up off the ground. Awesome, Wayne. Thanks. You ever have any other questions or you want to get some info on something or... Have me go check out something or take a video or photo of something. Let me know. Uh, we are looking in for, on the Discord channel. We're looking for things that people 
uh, who are members or who have contributed or through the GoFundMe or, or Patreon on the Discord channel. We're looking for um, things we can put in like a special members area. So if you have any thoughts about that, Michael has set up a, an area over there to give a suggestion on the Discord chat. If you have any uh, requests, things you'd like to see or ideas, something we could do. Okay, yeah, how's the S20 heat shield looking? That's a good one. So yeah, so the GSC uh, cover over there hasn't been moved. It, it was moved down last week from the build site and it's still hooked up to the labor crane and no movement there at all. But it is, uh, it's looking good, looking good right over there. Okay, that is the catch arm in front of us. Uh, I'm, I'm moving over to the Starship. The over the launch platform in the background. So there are people here doing, doing things. I got a lot of good close-ups yesterday if you want to see any of this. It's the tower. Massive, massive tower. And the big uh, crane, the big Kong crane. I will pan to the right and I'll get the Starship. Okay, we got it there. I can get a better shot further to my left uh, where I could get the base of it, but um, yeah, I will I will get that shot too because there's that that is important. I haven't seen any Raptors this morning Neither has Starship Gazer who is also here to my left is about 70 or so feet is uh, another photographer named Starship Gazer and uh, I Haven't seen what about it here this morning, but they are a good channel too uh, Luis Luis is uh, over there and Felix with what about it? I think I missed some of the... Hey, Dave. Belly and Jelly, yes, zoom to Starship 20, okay. Hey, Craig. Yeah, so there's definitely, Sam, there's less work going on right now. Uh, Dave and Teresa, all the Raptors may be installed. I only saw one Raptor yesterday. I did hear that they did take three Raptors down, but I did photograph one Raptor and I had heard yesterday morning that one had already been installed, so I was seeing a second one. I haven't seen the third one. I did hear that there were three Raptors taken down here, and I don't see any evidence of them anywhere. Maybe they were installed just out of view. Hey, Tim. Craig. Yeah, the chopsticks. Right. Uh, Craig, I, I don't check in on other channels, so you might check some of the other channels, but... Um, uh, Elon did say that it wasn't necessary for them to get installed before the first flight. So it's not a requirement. It's more just something that would be great to have happen. But uh, toward the toward the end of this stream, I will move the camera to the... I'll move it to the um, left and I will get a shot of the base of the Starship there. I did get a lot of feedback about the um, cool shots I got yesterday. So I was using uh, I did I put all my tricks in the into the shot yesterday. I was using a, a something that somebody sent me that allows me to move up. I'm not using it right now, but it allows me to go up really smoothly and down very smoothly. So I could start using that on the live stream. It's just, um, I feel that maybe it's, uh, it's a little bit too controlled for a live stream and it would be too smooth. Whereas I'd like to move very rapidly from, from spot to spot. If y'all would like me to move slower, I can definitely move slower and use all my equipment like I did on that video. Uh, those videos yesterday, the silent ones. That's about it. I can, uh, Someone asked about the, the burn. So there was, yeah, there was a fire out uh, behind here. I can, I'll pan to the left here. I'll try and avoid uh, the trash. So just real quickly, there is a lot of grass out here. So not everything burned, just uh, there are some areas that burnt. I'm not sure exactly where they are, maybe some of this burnt area that we're seeing out there is where it uh, got you know charcoaly a charred 
but there is a, a lot of areas here that haven't been touched by fire, so. So that's just a quick update on that. In the distance there is South Padre Island, and that's where a lot of, that's where Isla Banca Park is, and that's where, sorry, that's where a lot of people watch the, the launches from. So that's five miles away. They, evac they evacuate this area here, and uh, that's the kind of the closest nice place to watch the launches from. Um, yeah, if you wanted to see the launches and just uh, chill out while the launch is happening, South Padre Island might be it. There is a small town before that called Port Isabel. You might be able to find some uh, taller buildings to watch it from there. There is a lighthouse over at Port Isabel, and if you could get, um, if you could get, uh, if you're, if you're a military veteran, you get free access to the lighthouse. But otherwise, they charge a fee. And if you could go up on that lighthouse during the launch, that might be a packed area. I don't know if anyone has tried to do that before, but there is a very tall lighthouse over there in Port Isabel, and maybe you could get up there during one of the launches. <laughs> They may, somebody may have already figured that out and they may have uh, restrictions on that, I don't know. And then the trash here, if you're looking at the trash on the ground, this is really a small amount of trash if you consider some of the other trash that has been here before. Um, on a week, on a, on a Monday, if you go to the beach, uh, if you take a look at the trash there on a Monday after the weekend, it's a huge amount of trash. People do come up, come here and they pick up the, the trash on the beach and then what they do is they pile it up in front of the dumpster so you get a humongous amount of trash just from the collected amount of trash so the trash creates more trash so what we're seeing here in front of the trucks here I mean for for those of you who don't live in an area like this it seems like a lot of stuff on the ground and, and just, you know not so nice but this is really a, an actually a clean area over here and <laughs> it does get cleaned regularly by a variety of people so but if you ever want to come down here and help clean it up you're welcome to do that there are a couple dumpsters down the way there but when people do come and clean up the trash they usually leave piles and piles of plastic in front of the dumpster so then it becomes another trash dump uh, of the cleaned up trash and what else so then what happens is the county comes down here with with um, excavators and uh, what is it called not excavators, but uh, the things with the loaders, front loaders, and they scoop up all the trash and they dump it into the dumpsters. So it's like a three-part process, you know, so, because um, it's so much that gets collected by the people who want to help out that a front-end loader, thanks, Craig, that it's just, uh, it is quite a thing that happens here, so. Uh, okay, so I will move everything to the left here and I'll get a shot of the base of the of the starship. Hopefully you can still hear me. All right, here we go everybody. minute everybody thanks for being patient I had to address that about the uh, the, the waste here in the trash because a few people mentioned it yesterday in the comments so if a few people mentioned it uh, probably more people were thinking about it so <laughs> I'm a weightlifter, everybody. I just carried uh, 260 something people. That's good. Hopefully, it was uh, comfortable for you all. Yeah, so that is what's going on here. Kali Spera, good day to you, Simon. <laughs> oh, that's a good. That's a good way of uh, marketing, 
Knizzard. Yeah, if anyone so if anyone wants to buy Knizzard, Knizzard a flight, he will or she will uh, come down here and pick up trash all day. SpaceX fans, good, good. That's good. Christina. Okay, Tim says NASA space. Uh, the NSF showed Raptor engines being installed on the Starship. Cool. Yeah, if they have a if they have a 24-hour cam, then they have the advantage there. I can't be here 24 hours, but yeah, if you did see that, that's good. Thanks for the info. Yeah, Barry, there people are strange. <laughs> that always confused me. I didn't understand <laughs> what was the point of that. Hey, walk dog. Uh, the U.S. is not letting people from the U.K. in at the moment. Good. Hey, George. I got you. So that's what's going on, everybody. Um, I guess I can take a look at the tiles here as close as I can get with this camera. Oh, that is a Raptor trailer, you think? Okay, or you know, that's good. Well, they ha they were offloading pallets of, it looked like the Perlite. So they were offloading what looked like uh, one uh, ton bags of uh, something, which it, it typically has been Perlite in the past. So I don't think any Raptors were on this specific truck, but yeah, that does look like one of those black Raptor trucks. Science. All right, I will uh, end the stream here. Yeah, it is a black truck there. And um, thanks for the support, uh, Wayne. If I see anything later, I uh, will, yeah, I'll do another live stream for sure, Craig. Thanks. All right. I'll step in front of the camera here real quick. Good morning. Okay, Gator, everybody, awesome. Nice to see you. Take care, everybody. And remember, uh, I came up with this this morning when I, I did a little meditating and everything. I am Ocean Cam. I am Ocean Cam. It's, a, it's a, like a, imagine, imagine a bunch of us saying, I am Ocean Cam. You know, we all have about 60, 70% water, right? in our bodies so there's like an ocean in your body so i thought it's like a it's like a it's a phrase i am ocean cam so if we get like a um if we had a a soundtrack where, where they were all overlapped i am ocean cam you know it's kind of cool thought about it this morning all right take care everybody adios adios yeah, mantra, that's right. There we go, Tim. <laughs> see ya, see ya. <laughs> Smash the like, everybody. Adios.